Street Fighter motorcycles are having a huge fan following in India and leading the pack is KTM with its Duke 200 and Duke 390. The 390 Duke was launched in India last year and has been an immense success. But still, there's not a single direct competitor to this motorcycle. Now, Kawasaki has launched the Z250, a motorcycle which can give a close fight to the established Duke 390. But on paper, the Z250 just can't match the KTM Duke 390. We put both these bikes together to see if the Kawasaki can actually match the hot and mad KTM Duke 390. The KTM Duke 390 has many striking elements like the orange colored wheels and frame. It also gets LED indicators and tail lights which the Z250 misses out on. Still, it's the Kawasaki which comes across as the most striking bike. While the Duke 390 is completely naked, the Z250 gets a Z-shaped half fairing. The KTM is bigger in every dimension, but still, Kawasaki is the more appealing bike. Kawasaki's easy-to-read instrument cluster comprises of an analog tachometer, while the KTM has an all-digital unit. So while the Z250's console has a clearer display, the KTM comes with a host of information which the Kawasaki simply can't match. The Duke 390's console shows you various things like distance to empty, average speed, average riding time, current gear, real-time mileage and even distance to service. The Duke 390 feels very fast and when you switch to the Kawasaki Z250, you just feel the bike isn't moving. That's largely because power is concentrated at the top end. You need to rev the nuts out of the Kawasaki. The Duke on the other hand has a very strong mid-range and action starts at 5000 rpm itself although red line comes in early at 10,500 rpm against the Z250's 13,000 rpm limiter. The Duke 390 shows much more urgency right from go making the KTM a true revelation as it's so much faster than the Z250, the Kawasaki simply isn't a match in the performance department. There's absolutely no knocking on the Z250, while the 390 knocks a lot if you go into a higher gear at a lower speed. One can ride in third gear on the Z250, but the Duke 390 will require you to be in first gear. The Kawasaki is the better city bike because it doesn't burn your thighs even in stop-go traffic, which the KTM manages to do. Both bikes are very tall geared, but the gearbox and clutch feel of the Kawasaki is just better. The Kawasaki Z250 beats the Duke 390 when it comes to sound. The exhaust note of the parallel twin is very addictive and music to the ear. The 17-litre fuel tank on the Z250 offers 6 litres more tank capacity than the KTM, resulting in a tank range of 500 km on one tank. Kawasaki is also more frugal returning 30 km per litre against the Duke's 26 km per litre. With lighter weight, shorter wheelbase and better tyres, the Duke 390 is the sharper bike, inspiring more confidence to ride hard. The KTM is stiffer, it plays a part in its sharpness. But that also works against it when it comes to ride quality as it is far from compliant. The Z250 just soaks up bumps with a lot of maturity. Bad roads don't unsettle the Kawasaki like they unsettle the KTM. Braking performance offered by the Z250 is good, but the Duke 390's grippier rubber and standard ABS makes it stop with more confidence. The Duke 390 and Z250 are two Street Fighter machines which have little in common. There is little doubt that the Duke 390 is faster and more fun, while the Kawasaki Z250 has better quality and superior engineering. Being faster, sharper, more loaded with better hardware and terrific value makes the KTM emerge on top of the Kawasaki. While the Z250 does offer comfort, quality and a high revving engine, 
Rs. 1.25 lakh price premium simply doesn't justify buying it over the Duke 390.